just going to quickly demo using a Blockstream Jade, which we've got to sale in the Ellenbits shop at shop.ellenbits.com. So the latest update to the uh, to the Blockstream Jade allows for full air gapped functionality of the Jade, and using seed QR codes to use the Blockstream Jade as a stateless device. Right. So what I've got here is seed QR of a uh, so that's the private key of a wallet that I created just to demo this um, and that can be created you know you can create that on the blockstream J and then wipe the device you can create it on something like a seed signer um, there's other hardware wallets which I believe are starting to use this as well right so it's dead simple what I'm going to go through here is importing the seed QR into the device to use it as a stateless signer then in Sparrow wallet creating a watch only wallet so that we can construct transactions and then uh, display a QR code for signing on the blockstream Jade transmitting it back to the uh, into the Sparrow wallet for then transmission to the Bitcoin network right so let's have a go so we're going to power the Jade on And we will go into QR mode, scan seed QR. And that is the seed QR scanned. So we've got a session here. That tells us that we've logged in to the device or we've we've imported the private key into the device. Right. So that's, I suppose that's something worth noting here that this seed QR is the actual private key that's being used. So we want to keep this safe and private. I guess if you want to, you can have a uh, passphrase. In this instance, I have not. So now what we're going to do is create a new watch only wallet in Sparrow. So this is on testnet, I'm going to call it Jade Testnet. And we want to set this up as a air gapped hardware wallet. And we're going to use a Jade. So what we need to do on the device, come on, that's working. So what we need to do on the device is, I think we're in options, wallet, export, export. So this is the key that we want to import into Sparrow. What we're going to do is scan this. Let's load the, the public key into Sparrow. Apply that. I'm going to set a password for the wallet. Now, what I can do is get some testnet bitcoins. So I can go to this testnet faucet, put in my receive address, set myself some, some bitcoins, and that should appear shortly. Sounds there. Is. So here, we, there we go. We've got those two thousand sats received. This is some uh, test transaction I was doing before, you know, but this is a fresh setup. So now we've got those two thousand sats. Let's say we want to send that off to another address. For the sake of demo here, I'm just going to take a receive address from this wallet. I'm just going to do a send to self, and we'll give this name. So send to self. I'm going to send myself. Thousand sats and create the transaction. You can see we've got oh, the outputs here. So inputs coming from this UTXO, outputs going to fee for the miners. This is the uh, it's going to that receive address which is myself, and then this is the change going, coming back to myself as well. Now we'll show the QR code, and what I do here is. Back to the main menu, 
scan the QR code and I'm just scanning this QR that is shown on the screen. Cool, that's pretty quick. So now it's giving me a summary of what's actually happening. This is showing me on the device so I can confirm that Sparrow is not doing anything funny. Got a thousand starts going to this address, fee this amount, do I want to send the transaction? Yep. Cool, so I've got this QR code. Now what I need to do is in Sparrow, go to scan QR, and again I'll use my webcam to scan this animated QR code that's on the J's display. So that's the signed transaction now sent back to Sparrow. What I could do is I could just take this transaction and broadcast it through some broadcasting tool on the web or I could just broadcast it from Sparrow, which in this case I'm just going to do. There we go. Have a look at the transactions and we can see that sent self has been completed. Mega.